Welcome back everyone to the Old World Blues A to Z series in which we are playing as Eden. Now, right now we're at war with Ejercito Mexicano because, while well, we are at war with them, uh, the Rio Pact has gone to war with them too. And we've already lost uh, 2300 versus their 2800 and uh, yeah, we'll do the best we can against these guys even though I hate fighting Santa Ana. There's a lot of nations I really just don't like fighting. Santa Ana, or at least the robot nations of Texas, or Te Me Texas, Mexico. Uh, they're very difficult to beat. I hate fighting the robot nations of Mexico. I hate the 80s because they can be very, very strong sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes they're very, very strong. Other than that, um, anyone else? I don't know. I'm sure there's other nations I really just hate, hate, hate fighting because they're just very annoying. And it's difficult. Very difficult. Sometimes. Not all the time. It's weird. Very weird. And that's just doing that view that way. Here we get Donald Fuck. We're doing seem seemingly doing okay for now. Um, the main goal is to get uh, of these ports around here. Uh, right there. Actually, you go right there. Take that port. Hopefully they can't come back. I hate the whole... The whole this, is, this is not an Old World Blues thing, but a uh, Hoi 4 thing. When you're two nations who are not allied, trying to take territory away, or just take territory in general... Where did the divisions go? Why did it... Uh, the, the new front line becomes against the neutral nation, which I absolutely hate. Disgusting. Uh, take that. Come on. That's more important than anything else here. Get back there. Destroy them so they don't come back around. Um, in the meantime, you guys go here, here, to here, to here. You guys keep these guys in place. Um, take the port. And get to Richmond. That's important. It's very, very important. Good. Uh, you just keep going on down. God, it's got to be hot down there. But we did all the focuses around here, too. And we're going to continue with uh, this one because it slightly helps our caps capacity. Because we are completely out of uh, <laughs> money. We got three monies. And we're going to throw you down here. I know it's not near the front lines, but this way I don't have to do with it later. Right, let's see, it's another tunnel. Yes, good. <coughs> now we have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and, uh, not warm. Keep our th thirst quenched. What the barnacles are you doing? You're gonna stay there, son. No, 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 don't let him out. Don't let him out. Don't let him out. You keep him in place. Good, let him. Let them tire themselves out. Nice. Good. You're probably not going to win there, but whatever. Take Richmond. Ooh. We have... What are we done with our land doctrine? We should be close. We should be very close. We don't have... We all have very basic industry tech, which is, which doesn't help our situation. Industry actually helps out. Go figure. Nice. Good. It's going to help out right there immediately. There you go. There you go. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And they're... Ugh, I hate the real pact. But we gotta get ready for wars like with the Austrian Republic. The Provisional Republic of Texas. Or the real pact. We can go either way, really. I don't, I don't really care. Um, let's go with more organization for standard infantry. There guys in the line. We are missing probably a crap ton of equipment. My god, yes we are. And here we will go. Go ahead. See what we can do. Well, this is better uh, than it has been in some of these wars. Of course, I had to core a lot of stuff here because, well, we didn't have the industry for it. We have a little manpower with 52 factories now. I guess we can buy stuff, but we can't buy stuff. So there goes that idea. Don't like using drastic measures because it hurts us too much. Uh, we can buy some stockpile equipment, I suppose. This one, factory output goes up, but it costs more scrap, which is not a great thing for us. Actually, that's okay. We have plenty of enough water, too. Um, support equipment, do we have enough of it? No, we don't, so we can at least buy that. Champions of Virtue, now we're done with our land doctrine. Great. Um, over here, yeah, we're pretty much limited on what we can do. So let's go there. And up next, after elite stuff, you know what? For a nation like this, because we're using the tech... Old World Blues Tech Expanded mod. Or at least we should be. Are we using it? Did 
Easy plans. No, we don't have it on here. We should have somewhere here. Huh. Well, maybe because we're not advanced enough. Well, I would have done asymmetrical warfare, because that just makes sense for us because of all the, of our nation's history and whatnot. But if we can't, that's okay. We can still get more stability, though. Why not? Um, we got that one done. Plains, jungles. Well, we'll be fighting a lot in Texas, so let's go ahead and just do the plains and jungles. Plains and uh, desert one. For both of these. There we go. That's because they have radar and they're fighting over a oh, waterway. Uh, old world tactics? Sure. Travel huts? Nice. More resource efficiency gain? Yes, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. You do not let them move. Man, we're looking really bad here. Actually, why is it resi Oh, is it resistance? Hold on. No, it's 31, 25%. That's, that's pretty decent resistance. Hmm. Interesting. Definitely building up more millies, though. Oh, my God. Good. Trying to get down as far south as we possibly can. Just go down the, all that way. Just don't let them move. Come on. Where are they moving to? Up here? That's another... Oh, I can barely tell. That's another tile. Nice. Good, we got there. Now they're going to hopefully die there. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. <clears throat> Thank you very much. We're good. Demand demilitarization, but we don't really care about what they want. Because why would we? We are here for the people. Right. So we're missing a lot of stuff. I'm just going to combine these two. Uh, let's combine you two. That's fine. And resource efficiency gains fine. Manpower is okay. Mobilization speed. I never choose this one, so let's go on anyways. Oh my God, can you guys hurry the heck up? Look at all this. This is so bad. Consolidate your divisions. Brownsville, huh? Yeah, these guys wanted to go to war too, but they're, they're not doing very well. <clears throat> Combine it for now. We'll, we can always make more divisions. I'll uh, yeah, go and do this. Should be able to win here. Emphasis on should. Soft attack. Platoon training. We went with energy weapons for this campaign. Um, hey, look at that. Nice. Another promotion. Experience soldiers' losses. There's like nobody there. My god. Alright, so we can't do anything there. So this is going to take a while to do. Um, we're going to continue trying to beat these guys up, but honestly, with the Republic of the Rio Grande, I think they're screwing up. I think they're not going to be able to win this war against these guys, maybe. Santa Ana is, like I said, very, 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 very strong. Even though they've almost triple the amount of divisions they have. That's insanely bad. So, we'll keep working on this, and then we'll see where we're going to end up next, because, uh, let's see, the next one we want to do, we could disband our army, but I don't think we are going to. Because we want to do the Gardens of Eden, all core lands of the Ironmongers, Alamo Chapter, and Austin Republic. So it looks like we will have to go to war with them eventually. So we'll see when we get there. And here we are at. We're going to go to war with the Austin Republic. Also, we did take out all of Ezra's Cito Mexicano because, as you can see, well, um, the Rio Grande Republic, the Rio Pact, got taken out by the Legion. The entire thing. Um, so that left me at war with Ezra's Cito Mexicano and totally didn't use Khan's commands because it was extremely grindy and, dis and frustrating. And honestly, with being a primitive tech for most of our tech, it's just not fun. It's really not fun. I've said that before, but like, my god, it's just not fun doing it like that. Where are you going? Oh, uh, you should obviously go right there instead, because that's where we're going to make an encirclement. And you're not allowed to leave it, too. So, uh, let our guys move in. Have a good old time. 
Uh, you only need one of you guys really there. Go to Austin, which I have never been to Austin. At the time of recording, I always like talking about it uh, during uh, uh, my campaigns here. Like, oh, what nation? What nation? What area have I been to in America? It's always fun to think about. Uh, well, that's actually smart for them to do that. But it, I do want to take out uh, some of the other nations around here as well. Ooh, that's not bad too. Um, maybe some of these Mexican nations, just because they just so much population. And they have a lot of tech and industry. But that's actually relatively easy to get out of Austin. Which is actually really nice, so we can do form of the Guardians of Eden, thank God. So we known as Eden still. Of course, all states by Shell's army, Ironmongers, Austin Republic, Los Carbon, and get a lot of claims. So, there we go. There are now a, a letter at Shade of Red. Guardians of Eden still. Not bad. Um, do we have a trade node now? We have to make a little bit of money. It's kind of nice. No, we still don't have a... Oh, technically. Go down here. We still don't have a trade node. Wow. How did we not have a trade node at all? I think that's a giant mistake. A giant, giant mistake. Is like Reynosa? How does 65,000 people not have a trade node? Over 100,000 people in our lands, but... uh, Yeah, you know, we might try to take out or, or the Provisional Republic of Texas. Maybe. Hmm. We'll see just a little bit as we take out the Houston Rockets. And now it's time for us and uh, going to Mexico. Now as you can see, we're not doing super great down here, but, you know, whatever. Uh, production efficiency capture, why not? And you can get these guys involved too, why not? Uh, that'd be probably a pretty good idea, as we're losing against these guys using our really not really great power armor. Um, but yeah. We're going to get more uh, attack going out there too. Thank you very much. I like to attack using a general you know, plan, but whatever. Um, let's see. I'll grab some of that. Whoa, 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 Hold on now. You're not doing that. We've lost quite a few guys. They've lost quite a few guys to us, too. They kept attacking our lines. That's why I wanted to do this. But, and then we're going to continue with... Oh, this one, auto bypass. If you want to realize or talk about the unrealized threat, please go ahead. As well as old allies and new enemies. We're going to talk about Cali's, or Calix's, resourcefulness. <clears throat> We've discovered yet another of vault pre-war relics in the former territory of Shell's army. An AI vending machine called Calyx. Calyx is purpose to fulfill any request given to it by its customer. Perhaps a sophisticated pre-war supercomputer may be able to help us repair the corrupted Gek. Which would lose some population, but at this point we have probably more than enough, to be honest with you. Can you win here, infantry? <clears throat> they might just be able to do better than the power armor. Because my power armor really freaking sucks. Yeah, I don't understand why we do so. Well, I guess I can sort of understand. We don't do that well. Because um, we're just so technologically behind. That's nice. Over here, don't care. Um, focus a lot on support and stuff. That's good. That's fine. A lot of time. Better reinforce rate, though. Why do I keep clicking on that for some reason? Um, good and uh, good. As we're trying to make more divisions, even though we literally have no money. But that's never stopped us before, right? Come on. Come on. Yeah, the power armor is failing us. Quite a bit. I'm actually really disappointed in them. I'll bring it back in a little bit. Here, just do this. Spread it out for now. <clears throat> yeah, you know, this nation, I just don't think I can recommend playing as this nation. It's just too difficult. They, and this is why they always lose. They're just not strong enough. Ironmonger's Ingenuity. Although the intelligence of most of those in the Ironmongers may be below average, one cannot deny their aptitude for all things engineering. With the tools of machinery and perhaps a few less than willing volunteers, we might just be able to repair the Gek. And follow it up with Austin's Knowledge. Austin is a place with a great many minds. Their scientists being some of the foremost in all of Texas. So if we can only convince these scientists to put their combined knowledge and intelligence towards purifying the Gek, we might find ourselves one step closer to our goal. The Gek restored. Alright, so I'm sick like and tired of these guys just sitting here. Power armor sucks. There's no way around it. And we can definitely pierce them. And they're attacking us too? I'm actually okay with that. We do want to core more ter territories too. But then again, I don't know what the rest of this unique mini focus tree is. Um, it's very interesting to see what it is like though. I'm 
interesting. Because these guys are, are advanced, I think, maybe? They might be advanced. I don't know, let's take a look see. You guys are what? 28. No manpower, which is good to see. But we definitely have more manpower than them now, finally, thank God. Uh, that's not bad. Let's see, what else we got around here? Can't make more millies, though. Oh, wow. Nine more there, huh? Nice, and Austin's knowledge. Anything else we can do here? You know what? Oh, let's get one more there. We'll grab another one, and you can start doing some plus air support stuff. It's not going to do very much, but whatever. We'll take whatever advantage we can get, basically. Nice. Except for that, the Gek restored. At long last, we were finally restored the Gek to working order. All that's left now is to use it. Cool. Four divisions. These guys aren't really ready to strike out. Three divisions there. It's not bad. We'll probably do this. All of you go there except for you. You four fail, probably. That'd be good. I want to get through the focus tree first before we get too far down the line, just because I don't know what else we can do about it. Alright, so with that in mind, you're not quite connected there. You guys go all right there. You, but you go there. We can do that. There you go. See what you can do. One by one, we'll take them out. Oh, what are we missing? Special forces. We're not using special forces. As far as I remember. Do you guys use special? Why do you need spec ops equipment? Uh, that's weird. Okay. That's very weird. We weren't making any because we don't use any. We'll put one on anyways. That got restored. Alright then, you guys go here. Get it straight up to there. How about right there? Make a nice training, advanced right gear. Very nice. So the next focus, what is this? An industrial revolution. Oh, so you actually finally get intermediate stuff. Uh, increase research funding. This would be more important. Industrial revolution. Due to our acquisition of new lands, the number of skilled industrial workers and scientists in our nation has skyrocketed. Along with more advanced factories, tools, and machinery we inherited, our industries reached unprecedented heights not thought achievable before. I hate how far down you have to go. Which is, it's not that far, but just trying to survive the wars against the other nations, it's almost impossible. It, I've never, ever seen Eden win in any of my campaigns. So getting that is just too late. Which, I understand, I understand for, like, the, you know, the, um story behind everything you could say but still just trying to play as a normal nation here not easy can't really recommend it i just don't think in general i can really recommend uh anyone playing uh eden it's just too difficult in the beginning way too difficult now, i'm sure someone maybe more skilled than me can probably do it but uh, actually we probably want that division it's just too difficult in my opinion but then again who am i our little slash paradise Rivers flowed, plants grew, and flowers bloomed. However, this is not like before. Before everything was distorted, crimson red rivers, man-eating plants, a foliage so dense that it produced darkness as black as night at all times, no longer. The rivers now flow clean, and there's no more dense foliage. It is instead replaced by lush grass and fertile soil. The Gekka's bridge is a miracle, and people from all over flock to Eden to take advantage of this new otherworldly place, which can only be described as the Garden of Eden. Best get started on your homesteads, a new beginning with paradise. Okay, interesting. Restored megacity. Yeah, I'm just sorry, but it just takes too long to get down here. This is why you never see Eden, because it's just not strong enough. They're just not good enough. Oh, we're looking west. Well, I mean, by the time you get down here, you, first of all, you're going to die no matter what. But, but if you get down here, it just they're going to be dead anyways. So we can't do this one. If you don't know about these, please go right ahead. I mean, for the best. There's that one. Matters Southern Texas. Benefits of trade. Cultural exchange. It's not bad. No longer focus on the protection, containment, and purification of the corpse. We can allocate more resources to the research and development of other new technologies. We can't look at East either. Because, but, which doesn't make any sense. Texan Brotherhood, I mean, they technically exist through the provision or Republic of Texas, but that might need to be relooked at, maybe, perhaps. Well, it may have differences in our past. The Brotherhood is the best chance for a prosperous life and save free Texas. It's in our best interest to work more closely with them and see our close integration. We'll send a delegation of Texas to negotiate the terms of joining the Texan Economic Union. Census, Land Evaluation, Texan Integration Act. Huh. So this one definitely needs to be relooked at. If 
power the devs, but I don't think the devs. I'm sure the devs know. I'm sure they know. The devs generally do a pretty gosh darn good job with overall blues. There's some things here and there that I don't like, but like I said, who am I? I'm just a guy on the internet. Actually, you know what? Uh, good. And what's we do? Anything else here? No. What are we doing for a focus? Oh, industrial revolution. Intermediate electronics industry and construction, which would be nice. Very nice, actually. All right, so we're going to attack here next, probably. All but you go in, and you all hop out. Ooh. And we do have a navy now, since we took over Santa and his navy. Um, and the Unity of Austin's navy, too. So, so the 60-day focus, huh? Wow, we're losing a crap ton of caps. And we have to lose all these caps, because we don't have no trade nodes. Which doesn't make any sense for us. So I'm thinking we'll go to war with these guys, because a lot of this territory is just not cored. So if we can get their core territories, they'll die pretty quickly, which would be pretty nice. Which is why I'm complaining so much about like not having enough trade nodes or not enough money. Because there's literally no one we can take out to get enough money. Ah, that's good though. Should be able to switch over to that. Ooh, where are the guns? And support. Ooh, that's not good. Alright. Finally. Hmm, probably here next. You three, take you guys, take you guys. Good. Manpower's still fine. And keep building yourself up there too. Good. Keep expanding this way. I like how many divisions there are. I want you guys to all go this way. Might just be able to do a generic attack. Let our guys get over there first, where they need to be. How about some more settlements? Science. Ooh, advanced energy weapons. Given her experience in the field, you might be capable of gaining access to a technology usually beyond capabilities. Oh, that'd be nice. Can we do this? We immediately start losing against these guys. Well, because there's only one division doing that. Doing force defense, huh? Ballsy. Interesting. Nice. Drop him harder. We lost. Wow, we lost quite a few more guys than I thought we would have. But again, robots are very tough to take out. Um, do these guys next. As long as we hold the line, we should be fine against them. Motion charge advancements. Ah, we finally got them. we got those things. Um, up next, so we got to take these guys all out. But we need divisions to help, help, help here. In all honesty, though, we don't really need to. We just hold the waterways. That's all that really matters. So we'll take you guys, maybe, and you'll just like guard the. Honestly, this is all literally just one giant waterway. I do that. There you go. Train. Uh, you guys are gonna do this and do something like that. And this is going to probably be very god awful, but that's okay. As we do this and snipe everyone if we possibly can in this direction, something like this. If we take out these guys up here, that'd be fine. How many divisions do they actually have overall? Up to 92. Holy crap, that's a lot. <laughs> and I'm sure they have a decent ish navy. Let's go to military academy training and looking inwards. We cannot depend on any foreign power to protect our people. We must declare independence from the regional powers and forge our own path as a sovereign nation of Texas. You get sophisticated power armor. This just, you get this way too late, man. You just die too fast. The Houston Conference, leader of war of the Provisional Republic of Texas. So, do we get claims on every state in Texas? That'd be nice. Um, extra five divisions. Well, we'll separate you. Some of you guys right there. Uh, I'm not really sure where to send you. Maybe like right here. Because we already have this guy's a lone wolf. <gasps> we got that, yes. I like inspirational, but for this guy. Because again, we'll have up to 10 divisions, we do that. Monterey, thank god we finally have a freaking trade node. My god, that's so stupid. How long it has to take to wait to get all the way over there, my god. 
Not tomorrow. Um, training time. Let's recommend penalties. Let's recommend. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Training time. Let's give you this stuff. At least we're getting somewhere now. We could do that. Or I'll just get more south attack. I like that idea. 20 days. Not bad. Do that. So hopefully we're losing any more money. Yes, we are. Okay, my god. That's not good. Ah, there we go. Oh, they demand territory anyways. Okay. Today it's been announced that Edo will not give in to the pressures from either the Republic of the Rio Grande or uh, the Provisional Republic of Texas. Well, for your own path, these foreign powers with these grandiose designs on Texas do not know what's best for people. We're the only ones capable of protecting our people and their interests, thus we must walk alone. Edo will always be free. Oh, we go to a four-year conscription. Oh, that hurts our captain come. Get more stability, which is nice, but still. Uh, let's go with this. One. Advanced technical and armor development. It's been difficult for scientists, brilliant though they may be, to work without access to a broader community. Thankfully, they now have the facilities and funding to perform more experiments. And luckily for us, the scribes of the former Alamo chapter have agreed to share their information and expertise on power armor. Sophisticated and advanced technical armor. Nice. Well, I mean, if they want to go to war with us, how long would it take? 20 days? Oh, you know what? We get more war support that way, too. Um, basic training appointments. We don't have enough command power. Advanced technology. Oh, we can't do that. Ultimatum deadline. Well, we'll go to war now immediately, then. What is this? Oh, they want that territory. Well, okay. Because all we want is to get to, like, San Luis and Leon. All right. Let's see. Happy June, everybody. Anyone else here? Nope. And give them a couple extra days and they go to war with us. Good oh boy. We need you guys to go right here right now. And I need you to force the attack. Let him hold, 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 hold. You, you are literally not allowed to lose. Come on. You know what? You do that to them. Good. Now, you guys just keep doing that. Um, honestly, you guys go up here. And you guys do this too. The faster you can spread out and go up this way, the better it will be, so... Hurry up. Do we actually have money? We have actually 20 caps. Whoa. Let's spend it immediately. A Southern Texas Development Plan. South Texas Development Plan's proposal to improve the infrastructure of Southern Texas to pave the way for further industrial expansion and economic development. Now that we have resources to carry out this plan, we should enact it immediately. We jumped to Advanced Technical Armor 1B. Actually, has less armor than 30. Four and a half to nine. Huh. Well, this is something. There we go. You guys are going to be doing fine. And there we go, too. Honestly, if we take out all three brothers, we might as well take this guy out as well, then. Just go in. Immediately just go in. Look at that, nice. More heart attack? Yeah, we're fighting a lot of robots. And we'll fight some more power armor too, so... We might as well. San Luis, go to Leon very soon, please. Please, please, please. And we're getting there. Good. We got a lot of air speed, look at that. Hey, we got him, see? I knew it would be very easy taking out that guy. Once you have all the other... Like nations and whatnot, it's fine. It's easy. And because of all the work they've done, oh my god, we have almost all of Mexico. Or it's two thirds of it, it looks like. Holy crap. Uh, that's. Cool. Schnackies. There you go. Uh, what else are we missing besides planes? Oh, lots of infantry armor, huh? They're still. Not, what's wrong with Texas? They oh, they have no manpower. This would be a great time to go to war with them. I don't know why I'm whispering. Oh. Well, 
Oh boy, all these waterways. Oh, but then again, we want to go to war with these guys too, don't we? Yeah, that's true. Well, they're still struggling. That's fine with us. Because these guys will become knocking on our door soon, soon enough anyway, so we might as well do this. There you go. Nice. Can we record anything here? Oh. Plan of manpower, south of Texas development plan, the Houston conference. Well, while relations with the Texas brother have been largely been warm until this point, our recent annexation of the unity of Austin has become a point of contention. How should we arrange? Uh, oh, in the conference. <clears throat> Uh, we should arrange a conference in the neutral city of Houston where we can lay out our terms and hopefully come to a peaceful agreement. Let's wait for that one. I want to finish this war first. Brother, describe exile. Yeah. Texas is done. Last lodge. Not bad. And we still have no money. Okay. Uncivil civilian unrest. Get rid of the resistance. Good. Well, let's see. How strong are these guys? Oh, they actually wore themselves. Superior plating, nice. Anything else we can do around here? Yes. A three. Oh my god, three more trade now. Just take all of Mexico, or most of Mexico. And then you'll be fine, right? Oh man, they're doing forced defense, huh? Oh man, look at that motorized. It's going to die. Goodbye. Oh, whoa. California declared war on TV town? Oh, they're kind of thick. California waves looking pretty thick, though. 500 versus 1200? They're worth Sinaloa Cartel. Well, they can't even touch them. Good. Just for you guys. Oh, we can go here, too. Nice. So you get all this stuff too late. It's just too late when you, by the time you get down there. Nice. Hopefully no one else will want to beat us up there. Oh, they're worth getting us to. My god, Texas. What is wrong with you? There we go. Tons of waterways, lots of rivers. Cool. Go ahead and go there and do that, and then we'll do the other focus where we will uh, see what we can do with Tejas. Artillery. Let's go here. We're almost done. 13 more days, not bad. Honestly, I might just go down here. We don't need this, and I don't want her captain come or factory output, so. Shoot up us out a little more. A tiny bit more. Good. And. Hey, air doctrine. Nice. Alright, let's see. May lead a war with the Houston Conference. I want anything and everything. Trans. Trans Texan line, huh? Still no manpower. You guys have manpower? No. No one has manpower in Texas. Okay, that's really bad when Texas runs out of manpower. That's very, very bad. Paradise, huh? Brother knowledge ship. Knowledge ship. Productive, that's good. New schools, good. Nevada looking pretty thick, though. Wow. right now. Houston Conference. Let's see what we got. 
Uh, it's been decided that to prevent a future conflict, <coughs> a conference will be held between the delegates of the Provisional Republic of Texas and Eden, and the neutral city of Houston. The primary concern of the conference is to settle the claims of both parties over the hotly contested border region where the Un Unity of Boston once was. With the fate of the two nations in their hands, the delegates from Eden decided to offer them all of the Unity's former territory, the result in peace, offer them the city of Austin. Let's give them Austin? Heck no. Offer them no concessions. Why would we offer them anything? Especially with how weak they are right now. Van Servos. Oh, they just go straight, straight go to war with us. Okay. They reject our offer. The Provisional Republic of Texas helped reject our offer. With the failure of the Houston Conference, it seems war is inevitable, which it already is inevitable. Okay, okay. What are you... What are you... Can you not do the... No, no. My bad. Oh my god. I hate the waterways in the game. I hate them so much. Um, with the failure, the Houston Conference seems war is inevitable. We now seem to be on an unavoidable conclusion course and must prepare ourselves for the inevitable conflict. Texas ain't big enough for the two of us. Well, let's get some organization first. We were training our guys, and then we'll go to war and have a good old time with them. Three, two, one. Good enough. Let's go. Oh, don't want to forget this, too. Let's take a look at the losses. 10,000. Wow. 5,000. 8,000. 5,000. They, they've been off more than they could chew. It's kind of like Germany in World War II. You just went to war with just a few too many people. At a time. <coughs> Excuse me. Wounded, encourage women to serve. <clears throat> oh, we have more here down here. The matter of Southern Texas. Look at that. While we may control much of Southern Texas, there's still the matter of the lands that sit on the bank of the Rio Grande. Some of which are controlled by the Rio Grande Republic. It's best to address this issue before conflict arises. Well, there goes TV Town. Goodbye, TV Town. Hello. Mm. Extended support from the followers. Seems like California's brighter now. What the heck is this? The followers' hospitals? Is this new? I've never seen this before. We lose the consumer good by 1%, but... Huh. Okay. Sure, yeah. Do we get to core all of Texas eventually? That'd be broken. Shnikes. Can we, like, just make sure that no one gets anything here? Oh, dang it. Oh, they just keep taking more. Oh, this is disgusting. My bad. Well... I had four screen ships left, nice. Well, there goes those guys. Well then. Um, so we do this one next, I guess. Defending those in need. Taking out the trash. Painted rocks territory, huh? Interesting. I'd assume we get, like, at this point, the claims on all of Texas? Then again, I guess the Legion does own part of Texas, too, which is not smart. Not good. There you go, nice. And what's next? Montana Enclave, very cool. Where's your speed? And another economic node. Bikini and sleepers. Seems like they really want to kill everyone off up there in the north, which is fine with us. As long as you don't bother us, I don't really give a crap. Because after them, we'll do the last lodge. 
If we really want to, we could probably fight the Legion too, but eh, how much manpower does the Legion have? Engineering and Empire. About the same amount as us. But they have like at least a hundred more three times more divisions than we do. Okay, are you done yet? Like, you should be done by now. Literally should be done by now. Literally just get to Houston. It's hot and swampy. Maybe not in January, but still. There you go. Hello. The matter of Texas. While we now control much of southern Texas, the regions along the Rio Grande remain separate. People of the TAA suffer under the elitist ruling class, while the ranchers of the Pecos are frequently targets of raids, not to mention the fear created by the recent expansion of Kaisar's Legion into the region. Not only would their annexation mean an end to those issues, but the lands would certainly be a boon to our own economy and offer much more defensible border. However, as these regions are under the influence of the Republic of the Rio Grande, we cannot outright annex them without permission. The last thing we want is to start a conflict with a power powerful southern neighbor. Communicate this proposal while well, they're dead. If any of those in need. Although people on the borders may be safe from the grasp of evil tyrants and sadistic raiders, there's still plenty of people throughout the wasteland at risk of being harmed, enslaved, or exploited that need protecting. We'll be their defenders. And taking out the trash. To make Texas truly safe for everyone, we need to destroy the groups of raiders and brigands that continue to prey on our people. We stop them junkies and murdering lowlifes. We'll stand no chance against our battle-tested army. Oh man, they're forcing defense. Oh, good god. <clears throat> it's a massacre. I love it. Except when our own guys get massacred. We still do that too. Huh? Fall little Reno? New Reno? The Guardians of Texas. With the Brotherhood and Raider defeated, we stand victorious as undisputed rulers of Texas. Uh, the people of Texas have scarcely been so secure and free from, the, from fear since before the Great War. We have truly become the Guardians of Texas. Look at that. That's cool. 50% easier to core all lands in Texas. Eden just sucks in general when you begin. Like, I, I love this endgame stuff, but to get here is impossible. Apply more pressure. Just never advanced enough to get it all done. Matador City, huh? Let's see. You guys can try to fight that way. It's probably the last one we take out for this campaign. And you guys can just do it right here too. Nice. Alright, the Guardians of Texas. Well, I won't get all of Texas, I just don't want to fight the Legion. <clears throat> Got the circuitry. Nice. Should have been able to do that years ago. But what can you do? Peace conference is over. Nice. Oh. Oh, uh, and go to war with those guys up there. I don't feel like taking on the Scrapper's Compact. They're all, or I guess not Scrapper's Compact. It's Painted Rock, and they're all the way up there and taking, getting taken out by Oklahoma. Go figure. Five days left. No propaganda. Didn't, never hurt anybody. 
and you might as well do new system care package for more compliance growth. Force and defense. Wow, with militia, that was a mistake. Wow. Oh, gotta use it. <laughs> Whoopsie. <clears throat> well, they're all dying. I love this focus. It's huge and gigantic. It's so good. Good amount of manpower, but that's what happens when you cork. I have a lot of Texas and Mexico underneath you. Let me look. Oh, Mexico! My God. God, are those ever war? Oh my God, what happened up here? Nevada Rangers? Bill Calhoun? Peace in our time, huh? And the California Way's over here too. And New Canaan? What happened to New Canaan? How do they do it with Daniel? Look at all the people they have under them. The Mormon Alliance is huge. D Dharma's Way is not bad. The NCR is alive in the Eureka Territories. Oh boy, that looks like, like a giant freaking mess. But that's not going to be us. The Wardens of the White, what is that? Oh, do we have yeah, more? Hello? Logistical genius. Oh, is this Heaven's Gate? Oh, High Chapel. Oh, that's interesting. That's really cool, actually. Mon Montana Enclave, beautiful. But I think that's it for us. For this unique focus tree? Yeah, that's pretty much it for us. Everything else is generic here, but hey. Even though I struggled and complained a whole lot in this campaign, Eden has a lot of potential. Like I said before, the beginning is god-awful. I cannot recommend them in the beginning. I just cannot. It's way too difficult. But if you can work through all that stuff and not use cons commands totally, uh, you can actually have a really fun campaign, but by then it's like it's almost over. But even then, you know, it's still a lot of fun. If you enjoyed the campaign, then leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great Guardians of Eden or rest of your day.